Good morning. It is not even seven o'clock. It's too early for me to be doing this YouTube stuff. <laughs> but um, I wanted to show you some of the presents before Andy drives them to our families today. Um, today is the 23rd. He has the day off work. I'm working. And um, Andy's just going to do a little quick drop off pickup for Christmas um, because we're not seeing our family for Christmas this year which is really stinky so um, for my family over here well first I've got some items made by Justine our favorite little baker um, so I've got stuff here frozen they were dropped off last Friday um, so they're still relatively good I think but we got those baked goods. Um, I kind of like to do bags for everyone, so it just keeps it simple and easy. Um, a big bag for my sister and the kids. Now she's got three kids, so a little bit more presents. <laughs> for my mom, um, fridge mix. I'm totally gonna be a spoiler alert. <laughs> fridge mix, jingle jangles, some Sephora items, and then Andy got mom a gift card to Sephora because he's very sweet. For my dad, um, an M&M dispenser that he used to use in the early 90s that I just thought of recently that reminded me so much of him. So I went and found it again online and a couple M&Ms. <laughs> uh, for Andy's mom and dad and sister, um, items over here. Where is the picture frame? I think, I think this is the picture frame. Andy's so sweet. He blew up a picture of his dad brother and nephew so three generations he took the picture so that's why andy wasn't in there and then he made a custom frame like a custom picture frame um yeah so anywho we've got all kinds of goodies that andy's gonna be driving down today and dropping off so yeah this is the weirdest christmas ever Hello, it is now a much more normal time to vlog. <laughs> it's almost noon. Um, Andy's back from doing the gift uh, exchange with family. So I've got items for my mom. I'm gonna pull out the cookies. I asked her if I could have some cookies um, that she made with my nieces, the grandkids over the weekend. So yay, thank you for the cookies, mom. Um, and then I'll probably just hide everything over underneath the tree and wait till Christmas morning. And then Andy got some goodies at his dad's house and then his mom's house. So I'm wondering if we'll maybe wait till Christmas again. Although I can see some of this. I, I can see someone went to C's. <laughs> yeah, so um, it feels, I don't know, everything feels weird. Um, part of the reason why Andy went alone to do the gift exchange is because I knew if I went along with him, I would want to see the kids and, and my family and I would cry. <laughs> so that's part of the reason why he went alone um and did it today if i was with him it'd be tomorrow christmas eve because we have the day off and um yeah i knew if we drove up drove up and dropped off presents and grabbed them from my mom's house no way would i be able to just drive away especially without crying it would be a mess so <laughs> good morning and merry christmas eve um Got my red on today, a little bit of Christmas red. Um, today, um, I've got a few things in mind for Andy and I to do. We are gonna check out a butterfly preserve nearby. Um, there should be some good like monarch butterflies there at this time of the year. Um, so we're gonna go check that we're out. We're gonna make some little dog biscuits here at home. This is from Trader Joe's. It's called the BIY, Bake It Yourself Canine Collection Dog Biscuit Mix. I got it at Trader Joe's a bit ago and thought it'd be really fun to make some little biscuits for Slinky. So I've kind of been holding on to that until we have this late time off work to do that. Um, yeah, it, I'm trying to, you know, stay busy a bit, of course. Um, this morning I was thinking how normally on Christmas Eve we'd be packing up our stuff, we'd be uh, dropping Slinky off at DOG for his overnight care. We'd have, um, if we're lucky, our friend could watch our kitty cats here. And then we'd be driving down, checking into the hotel and um, seeing family. So 
it, it's hard to not think that way like what we normally be doing on this day <laughs> but anyways yeah we're gonna try to go do stuff today safe and um early enough that there's not gonna be many people all right we've made it to the coronado butterfly preserve isn't there a coronado the name of a beach in san diego too I think so because my sister used to take the dogs there <laughs> and there's a little map of the whole area um, yeah you are here anyhow you want to get walking yeah okay. I think this is the only way to go yeah just up this hill here yeah. there's a chance of rain so we'll see <laughs> we'll see if we get any rain today oh it's, oh, it's a donation box yeah, yeah. Cute. This is new, I swear. The trees are drought stressed and in danger of falling. Yeah, oh my god. Jeez. We found a bench made out of a tree, right? Wood. And it says, This preserve is a gold mine. When it comes to getting to know your neighbors, Hurston Buck. Yeah. And we're right nearby um, a neighborhood. We just parked down there. Way. Is there something on the other side? It's about the person who's on the front. Oh, okay. Oh, he lived life his way, generously sharing his many talents, quick wit, and great stories. How sweet. Pollinators, you know who would like to come here, honey? Oh, the girls? Yeah, the girls. You betcha. Mac and Liz, they'd enjoy it. And they know about butterflies. Birds. Oh, we get a lot of those that are hummingbird feeder. The the Anna. Yeah, it's like the Anna hummingbird. Okay, let's go find some butterflies. I think we found the entrance. Andy and I haven't been in a very, very long time. <laughs> Elwood, Maine, Monarch, Butterfly, Galerov. We got some some walking we've been doing. Not, not too bad, thank goodness, but a little bit. <laughs> so um Andy and I are at the butterfly preserve we can't find any butterflies they're usually like up in the trees hanging in their little hatchet hatch thing I don't know um but we realized that we overheard someone talking about how there's no butterflies this year and we think it has something to do with um how some of the trees are in really bad condition and got cleared out and removed because the trees are at risk of like falling on people and stuff um I don't really know but no butterflies um so we're just walking around enjoying nature got some green up ahead it's a lot of brown a lot of dead stuff um but some green some greenery and then there's some homes over there we were walking along the near the backyards of people's houses well andy is running a super secret errand downtown i'm pretty sure he's going to talk with maya and mcconnell's Ah, my favorite, favorite, favorite places. I haven't had Chocolate Maya since like my birthday. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. McConnell's, it's been like months. <sighs> so, Andy's running some errands. And I'm going to take little Mr. Slinky Dink for his lunchtime walkies. Yeah, yeah. His little ears perked up. <laughs> Is it time for your lunchtime walkie, Slinky? Lunchtime walk? Yeah, lunchtime walkies. Come on. Come on. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, it's a walking time. Oh, you're going to smell things. You're going to pee pee on things. It's going to be great. <laughs> go to the park, Slinky. Go check out your favorite park. Come on. Let's go. So many distractions. <laughs> so many smells. Come on. Let's go to the park. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Slinky. This is a park we sometimes head over to, and Slinky really likes to roll around in the grass here. There's really good grass for him <laughs> to roll around in. It's nice and big, open. Sometimes we'll see other folks with dogs. Yeah, you like it, Slinky. You like it. Look at this tree. I don't know much about like different trees and stuff, but I really think it's neat how it has those, um, not leaves, but kind of like bristles. I don't know. 
It's a cool one. It's a neat looking. We can add stuff to it, hon. Do you yeah, see? Yeah, on the side. Yeah, mm -hmm. apple and peanut butter, apple and chicken, chicken and cheese, bacon and peanut butter. I don't yeah. know. I'm fine with just making them kind of normal, like as yeah. is. That's probably better. You're good with that too? I mean, I wonder if we could just do a little bit of peanut butter. We don't have any applesauce. They need to do, it's a specific type of peanut butter too. Oh, okay. It's uh, creamy, unsalted peanut butter. I don't know that we have that. Yeah. But I know you gotta be careful with dogs and peanut butter. Okay. Yeah, Psyche! Are we gonna make you some biscuits? Yeah, some biscuits, food. Some biscuits for Christmas? Yeah. yeah. You know, I was wondering if we could find the old... So this is all we need. We just do the mix. Three quarter cups of water. Combine that. Add one tablespoon of oil. They don't say what type of oil, so I'll just do olive oil, I guess. And then I'll need to roll it out and cut it into shakes. Mm -hmm. like they even mention it. Here, mixture will be crumbly, you okay. know? Yeah. So it is weird. It's not like dough. Like when we make cookie dough or pie dough. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting. Is this a quarter inch? Sure. <laughs> I don't know how to tell. And then... Do you want to cut some out with me? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Yay. Oh, I need to put it on a... Oh, well, we need a baking sheet. Yeah, huh? I'll just put these off to the side for now. Oh, dear. Yeah, these are crumbly little suckers, huh? Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Oh. I wonder if I should add more oil to it. Or maybe if I just smush it with my smush, hands. Yeah, that seems to be working a lot better. Yeah, my hands are, like, making it. It's coupling it together a little. Yeah. Maybe it's like heat or pressure or something. I gotta be careful so they all stay in one actual piece and don't fall apart on me. That's a I think if we get the baking sheet and we can just slide it over. Yeah. I gotta be very careful with them. They're delicate. Delicate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put parchment paper down? No. I'm gonna be crazy. Sorry, I'm being crazy, Andy. I'll clean the thing after. Huzzah! Oh, looks good. Kept the shape. Oh, Slinky, these are pain in my patootie. Mm. <laughs> if they cut like normal dough, they're fine. You know? I was expecting them to be a lot more like, yeah, normal dough. Yeah, like cohesive instead of it's a crumbly hot little mess. Well, he doesn't need a whole lot of them. Either. That's true. Ooh, that's the good way to keep it, keep the shape. Together. We're kind of calling it as is with these cookies. This like dough is not good. It's a crumbly hot it's mess. Crumbly. I know, and I wonder if we did something like add peanut butter to it, maybe it'd be more uh, cohesive and like stick together. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna go put these in the oven, 20 minutes on each side, and then Slinky can have some. So ready to get flipped. Let's see how they're looking. A little more solid now. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> hey, Fig, you say you want some cookies too? They're for the doggy. They're for the doggy, sweetie. Well, the biscuits are done. Uh, don't look. Overall, I would not recommend this dog biscuit mix unless you modify it a lot. Like by um, adding stuff that they recommend, like apple and peanut butter to it, which is applesauce and unsalted peanut butter. Um, because making it exactly as they recommend, way too dry, crumbly, it doesn't stick together. Some of them broke apart when I flipped them because you need to cook them on either side. So, I mean, it'll be cute. We'll let them cool. Maybe put them in a little Ziploc baggie, put them in slinky stocking, um, but probably not something we would recommend or do again. Um, we are watching Claws tonight, K-L-A-U-S, on, is, is it Disney? No, it's Netflix. Netflix yeah. It's Netflix. So that is what we're doing for our Christmas Eve. 
Hey there, um, Andy and I just finished watching up Claws, a Christmassy movie on Netflix. It's cute. It's better than we had expected. And then we started talking about our Christmas Eve traditions, which made me remember all the neat stuff my family used to do. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of like talk about a bit what my family used to do when we were kids. Um, <laughs> we'd go to church every year on Christmas Eve. But before we went there, my mom would make complimentary dresses for my sister and I. Um, which would basically be like very similar dresses like mine would be red hers would be green um, We'd have little tights. I remember we used to have these tights with candy canes on them little patent shoes a little purse of course and Before we went to church, we'd actually go get our hair done um, Which is what I just remembered today and I kind of totally forgot about that That used to be like a really fun thing We'd go get our hairstyle just for Christmas Eve <laughs> um, from this guy named Ray uh, he worked, I think, in Vallejo, and we lived at Mare Island, which is a, a naval base that was shut down in 96. But anyways, it was a great place to grow up. And um, so, yeah, we'd go to church on Mare Island, and uh, we get our hair done. I used to get mine done kind of where he'd take your hair and actually shape it like a bow. So he'd do, um, I think sometime, one time he just did one bow, another time he did two. So it's like the craziest thing. It takes him a while. There's a lot of bobby pins involved, a lot of hairspray. <laughs> but he does this like really cool stuff with your hair and just really neat design. So anywho, get our hair done, have a dinner in the evening, go to church. We'd go do the candlelight service where they would... Um, I remember my favorite parts were the singing. They have all these really cool Christmas songs and you could sing along. And then with the candlelight service, you'd have your little candle <laughs> with a little cardboard piece around it. And everyone would stand in a circle and you'd go around and pass the light from uh, person to person for me, everybody's candle. Um, and that was really cool too. And then you'd go home and um, what were we allowed to do? We were allowed to open gifts from family. So we'd have presents from aunts and uncles back in Pennsylvania, uh, which is where we're from, or what else? Yeah, just really that. Plus, uh, my mom would get us jammies each year, so we get some pajamas, and we were allowed to wear it that night. Those were our Christmas pajamas, and then we'd go to bed and eagerly wait <laughs> for Santa Claus. My sister and I used to wake up way too early in the morning, like 2 to 3 a.m. or so, and we had a stocking on our bed at that time because Santa had put the stocking on our bed. And we were allowed to open those presents in the morning while we waited for our parents to wake up. So that was really cool. Um, you'd always wake up with the weight of like a stocking near your feet. And I think I used to think, oh, is that a cat? But nope, it was a stocking. Um, so eventually, at some point, my sister had a TV in her room. And when we'd wake up real early, we would start watching a bunch of Christmas movies in her bedroom. So I'd go over and join her, and we'd pace ourselves with the presents in the stocking. We'd say, okay, every half hour we can open something from the stocking. And we would just wait until our parents would let us uh, get up and go attack all those presents under the tree. <laughs> Which is maybe closer to like 7 or 8. Probably 8 eight o'clock um yeah then we'd do all of our presents but i kind of totally forgot about that with christmas eve it made it really special like getting your hair done going to church dressing up um singing the songs i still love christmas um songs that you'd hear at like a, a church thank you so much for watching i hope that you're having a wonderful holiday however you celebrate and i'll see you later